Hello, my name is Jessie, and in today's session I'm going to show you how to check your reading history and privacy in Koha. Once you come to the Koha OPAC and you log in to your account, either in the upper left hand corner or down here over on the right hand side, this will take you into your patron account. Here you'll be able to see any information that you've checked out in the system, um, any of your fines or overdues. In today's session, we're going to show you how to look at your reading history. You have several tabs over here on the left hand side. One of them will be labeled your reading history. If you check on that, you'll be able to see the reading history that you have set in your library. Now, this is contingent if your library has your reading history turned on. This will show any of the books that or DVDs or items that you have checked out in the system. So here I can see all of my titles. Now if I go to my checkouts, I can see that listed as well. And if your library uses on-site checkouts, you'll be able to see those. Now from the drop down menu up top you have a few options. First it's going to be by date, second by title, and then by author. So you can rearrange that to look, especially if you have one author in particular that you like to read. Um, this is a great way to kind of focus in and see which titles that you have re read by that particular author. Now let's talk about privacy. For those of you out there that may not want to keep a list of titles that you have checked out from the library and your library has turned on the option to pick the privacy, here are your options. First, the option will be forever and what that will do is that will keep your reading history without a limit. So as long as your library goes back, you'll be able to keep that reading history. The second is the default, and the default would be what your library has chosen as their local policy according to local laws. Some libraries may keep it for a year back, um, some may keep it longer. The best option here would be to check with your librarian and ask them what their local uh, law is for keeping history. Now the third option is going to be never and what that will do is that will delete your reading history. So you'll notice here you have an option that says please choose your privacy rule. And if I have that button here you'll see there are my three options. Now whatever your privacy rule is you can always delete your reading history immediately by clicking this button. Uh, just a warning now that once you confirm that deletion, you can no longer retrieve the list. So if I do select that immediate deletion, it will uh, delete that information. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions. For more videos, please visit our YouTube channel at Bywater Solutions or www.bywatersolutions.com.